the news feeds category manager inside Joomla is uh, similar to the contact category manager. It's pretty much the, the same concept here. You've got uh, underneath contacts where you have contacts and categories. When you go to news feeds, you also have feeds and categories. So uh, in the news feeds video, we showed you what news feeds are and kind of how they work, generally speaking. You can organize and create as many categories as you like uh, to create a lot of different categories for a business or e-commerce or technology or whatever you like and then come back in and dump feeds in those categories and we showed you how those are going to render uh, on the news feeds category uh, listing page when you click on feeds we have this set up as a category listing page we, we could set it up to show an individual feed much like you can do um, for the contacts uh, so and, and obviously here when we when that renders it shows the number of feeds inside the category um, and when we come back in order to add a new category, you obviously on this page you can publish things, unpublish, delete them, edit categories. In order to add a new one, simply click New. And it's pretty straightforward. Just give your category a name and leave the alias blank. Again, all of the alias fields within Joomla uh, allow you to, to use keywords and then for your search engine friendly URLs, but don't keyword stuff them, obviously. Uh, here's the Publish tab, whether or not it's published. There's no section that affects these. Uh, the access level, whether or not we want this category to be viewed by folks that are not logged in. If we have a site that folks have to log in to view content, we can provide an image for this category. Again, this is pulling from the Stories folder, so we need to have our images uploaded into the Stories folder via the Media Manager. We can align that image once it's there, and we can give our description to the category. Um, when you have a category listing and it shows up here, uh, the images obviously don't show up. There's no images related with these but your description will show up. So anything you put down here in this description box when you're creating the category, when you publish a category feed or a category listing from a menu item like this, you're going to get the description to show up right here. So pretty straightforward. Uh, once you have that uh, new category created, go ahead and click Save. Now it's going to show up here, New Cat 1, and we can then go back and do Components and News Feeds and go to our feeds, and we can move things around. We could say, hey, you know what, I want to check these two items here and I want to actually we gotta go one at a time in here we can't move them so we can come in here and just use the drop down and move things something into new cat one and then hit save and so now when we go to news feeds and we click on our feeds you're gonna see the new cat one and now since we since we have an item in it well, one item that's in there um, it now shows up prior to that it didn't show up because there weren't any items inside the category so Hope that's uh, helpful and pretty clear. News feeds within Joomla are fairly simple and straightforward. Um, uh, it would be uh, in your best interest to educate yourself on what RSS is and how you can use it to bring in mass amounts of, of uh, useful and relevant content to your website uh, automatically. Uh, it will help you. You can build more pages, obviously, for SEO purposes and backlinks, but in addition to that, more importantly, I think, is syndicating your content because that's how you get uh, that's how you get attention on the web is by getting your content out there. And there are tons of websites and RSS aggregators that you can submit your site's feed to that will publish uh, publish your feed uh, and create backlinks to those individual pages. So it's a great way to uh, do uh, pardon me to create uh, deep backlinks to your site as well. So I hope that was helpful.